Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. Today we're going to be following Jude Wolf, Boiler University instructor, as he actually walks through a plant and does a steam study. We have an example here of a trap serving a high pressure main drip leg. And while this trap might be down here in the basement where nobody's paying any attention to it, uh, this trap failing open has very significant costs. On a system running at 150 PSI, a trap like this failed open uh, can cost you about 76 pounds of steam an hour. And that doesn't sound like much compared to what your boiler can put out, but over the course of a year, that can cost you in excess of $6,000. So this is just sitting down here wasting money all year long. That's why high pressure traps like this should be tested quarterly because it easily returns the investment uh, of having them tested. With advanced testing equipment, we can see that this trap has steam flowing through it even when it's closed. Um, this should actually show no sound level at all when the trap's in the closed position. So this is indicating that we've got continuous leakage through this trap. Numbering traps gives us the ability to uh, follow up and determine what trap needs to be replaced at a later time without having confusion. Obviously if we've got eight traps in a very tight area, we need to be able to uh, describe which one needs to be replaced. An additional benefit of numbering and recording our results on the traps is that we can determine where problem areas are that might require a different style of trap or a different piping configuration. Anytime you've got a heat exchanger, a good choice of trap selection is a float and thermostatic. The good thing about a float and thermostatic trap is that it has a high capacity and it quickly removes condensate as it forms, which is very important when you've got domestic hot water applications where sudden demands change the position of the valve and it has to respond quickly to um, remove that condensate. A condensate return tank is an important part of any steam distribution system because all the condensate that's created from applications, HVAC, domestic water, etc generate condensate and we need to pump that back to the power plant. In this case the power plant's across the street and they're really interested in getting that condensate back so by bringing the condensate to a vented receiver we're eliminating back pressure in the system so the system works well and then these pumps can overcome any uh, back pressure generated by piping back to the source. While there's always a payback for insulating piping and valves Insulating a trap can cause problems with the function of the trap. This particular trap, a float and thermostatic trap, has a thermostatic element that contracts uh, when the cooler air approaches it to allow it to vent that air to speed up the startup of the process or the exchanger. Um, when we insulate the entire trap, that air stays hot so it doesn't get as evacuated uh, promptly and it slows down the startup of the system. On high pressure applications, even insulating your valves and pressure reducing stations can have a payback. But when you get to a much lower pressure system, say 5 PSI, uh, you don't get the same speed of return on your investment. But anytime you insulate something, you cool the environment that it's in and you save money at the same time. So it's a two for one. It's a hot job, but somebody's got to do it. Appreciate Jude stopping by and talking to us today about the steam study. The steam study is something that you can do in your boiler room. Now during that study, he, you heard him talk about insulation as well as steam traps. Now you can click on some former boiling points, one right here on insulation and the other one right here on steam traps and take a look and see uh, of some of the things that he talked about. Now like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you don't mind, maybe even share a video. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.